First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. Mahiro Koizumi. Covering her chest with my finger, got it. The victim is Mahiro Koizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. There are no other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Seems like it was a sneak attack then. Around 3 p.m. That's the time. By who? That's the, There's a closet right there. That's the time Kazumi yeah. and I arrived. Well, notice the blood stain in the middle of the What's floor. What's the mask? Well, see the blood stain in the middle of the floor. It's possible she was attacked there and then dragged over to the wall. Maybe, but it seems like she was snuck up on. Yeah, but I mean, like, if she was standing there in the middle. Well, what if she was hit so hard? What if she was hit so hard that she flew to the? That doesn't actually happen. I mean, if someone hit you hard enough, you'd be flying. No, like. This was actually proven in Myth Mythbusters. In order to, like, hit some... They did it with a gun, but it would also apply with, like, a melee weapon. In order to hit someone with enough force to send them flying, you would have to be putting out enough force that it sends you flying as well. Hmm. Alright. Still, look at the closet. Well, yeah. The clo I'm pretty sure it's, it's like, the, the case is, like, the closet is where the person was... They came out, smashed her over the head, and then brought her to the to that door. I'm just saying. I don't understand the mask. The mask. What? I don't understand the mask. Maybe they were wearing it in case things went south. I don't think you know. It's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner, and if we had just gone to the beach house instead, no, now is not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then. Go to find out the truth behind Mahiru's death. <sighs> That's the only way the rest of us can survive. All right. Now, I, wait, are the girls the only suspects? Well, the girls aren't the only suspects. Bear that in mind. Like, we know it's not by process of elimination. We know it's not Hiyoko, and we know it's not Kazuichi because both of them were ones who found the body before the announcement was made. Wait, what about, um, um, mob guy? Fuyuhiko? Yeah, I was gonna bring that up. He he basically walked by the diner and was like, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? And then when we got distracted, he left. So, he is a, a possible suspect, and I imagine that's gonna come up. But, if the time of death was 3 p.m., it was definitely not Kazuichi, because because we were like we were literally with him the entire time. Uh, Ibuki and Mikon came over together. It's probably likely that they were together the whole time. So unless they teamed up, it wouldn't have been either of them. Uh, Akane was covered in blood, but Nekomaru can presumably vouch for the, her. It's probably gonna get brought up though if you were like, I don't believe you. <laughs> Uh, Sonya was taking a while with the wetsuit. That's a possible. So Sonya is a Sonya, Peko, Chiaki. Those three are possible because they sh they showed up like after that it all happened, and they didn't seem to have any like alibis. It was like Pe Peko was like I was swimming around the island, so he was like I was having trouble with the wetsuit, and Chiaki was just. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> so neither none, none of them had alibis, and we don't know. Before, we don't know anything. Hey, do you think that trash can has anything in it? I'll check in a moment. Nagito is still tied up. Unfortunately, I still worry that I might know who this is because of that spoiler I actually came across when looking stuff up. Well, again, you don't time. know. Uh, you don't know what case it is, so still no idea there. Yep. Yeah. So I kind of honestly, I hope it's this one, eh, so the spoiler why? can just be out of be out of worry. So, okay, let's just narrow it down. Not Nakito, Biakia, or Teru Teru, because they're dead or tied up. Two of them are dead. Huh? Yeah, two of them are dead. Yeah, so two of them are dead, Nagito's tied up. Not Kazuichi. Kazuichi, too. Not Kazuichi, because we were right with him. They're with him. Can I just say, it seems like the only person of my group, of my voices, it could possibly be, would be Chiaki. <laughs> it's not the hero, because she's the victim. 
Kyoko. Okay, we were. I, I seriously doubt it because she was running away crying. Yeah, so bear in mind, we were looking out the window. Doesn't she love, like, my hero? Well, bear, uh, it's worth noting. We were looking out the window, and we, like, made note whenever we saw something. We saw Hiyoko, and aside from that, we never saw anyone go to or from the beach. And then when Kazuichi went there, it was like, all right, that's three people. Therefore, Hiyoko would have been the second to find the body. Yep. Uh, Mikan and Ibuki were, tra were together, so... Again, unless they teamed up, it's neither of them. Which means it could be Gundam, Nekomaru, Fuyuhiko, who honestly might be a bit too obvious because of the whole point of him just being there, but that's metagaming. Akane is iffy, because Akane, Akane fought Nekomaru, so he's like her alibi, but I also don't know off the top of my head what time that was at. So it could be Peko, Sonya, Chiaki, Akane, Fuyuhiko, and Nekomaru. So basically, the middle row and Peko. Not Gundam? The middle row, Peko and Gundam. Right, I forgot. Gundam. Alright. And now with that figured out, let's examine things. Jesus! Alright, trash can first. Maybe there's a clue inside the trash can? That's what I thought, but... Eh, it's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. Guess it's not that easy, huh? But it's a truth bullet! It ain't easy being trashy. Uh, what? Is it? What even are those? Jerobum? Also, what's... Where are you, Rhino? It's, it, it might be just... Who, me? Yeah, what's that background noise? Oh, sorry. I walked outside and it's raining. I'll mute myself here in a second. I'm just letting the dog uh, use the bathroom. Okay. Metal bat. According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow was dealt to the hero with a blunt object. That blunt object... It's this metal bat, right? Huh? This metal bat. Oh, dear. Sorry, I was waiting until I was back inside. That's fine. That's fair. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Huh? There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. She played it, didn't she? Probably. I would not be surprised. Oh, I did not even realize this was the same as the photo. Huh? That... Oh, right. It huh? looks this... Yeah, this is the photo from the game. That girl was killed with a blow from the metal bat, just like Mihiru. Did you did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about the metal bat? Yeah, that's exactly it, but did you play it too? Then I'm sure you know this, but the case this time is strongly connected to the Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind the hero's death, you probably need to solve that game's mystery, too. But even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Huh? I finished the game with the game over, but were you able to beat it? I'm not some girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. <laughs> What am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. I like how she uh, she does show like emotions uh, besides just being calm all the time. Puffy face. Mm. Pout. Pouty. Puffy face. Puffy pout. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. Puffy pout face. Oh, the, hearing that reminded me of something. What? <clears throat> Rin graduated recently from high school. Oh, nice. Oh. Why did Puffy? Because the gamer girl just made me think of that. Oh, I thought you—I thought that was because pouty face made you think of that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's okay to say that this metal bat is absolutely the murder weapon, right? I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Tame truth or it, this is definitely the murder weapon. <laughs> Mask. 
Hmm? What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Maybe party goods? Regardless, why is this even here? Do the killer wear that to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. A gaudy mask? Ah! That mask! You've seen this? Sun Witch Esperito! It is a super fun what? anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country! An anime that has a viewership of over 90%? Is Sony's country really alright? Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If that is true, could it be? Could it be what? Um, could it be please what? give me some time! For reasons could unknown, Sonya rushed out of the- Damn, we should've spoke to her first. What's with her? It looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I shall wait until she's disguised. It. Hmm, for Sonya to be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. Where Killer Clown is, apparently. There's just so much everything. Refrigerator. Beep, 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 beep. A lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Do people take a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweetened or colored. Wait a minute. They look unhealthy. What? Hmm. Because when originally we were looking at the bo at the bottles in the trash can. Because they remind me a bit of the typical way um, bottled water is labeled, with typically like mountains or other things that denote its freshness. I wonder if that's the kind of drink that is. Yeah. Wait, water? Then, Why water, though? Well, to wash yourself off. Why would you do huh. that when there's literally, go outside 10 feet, there's the ocean? I don't know. Also, it, also, there would be a lot of water, like, on the ground here. Look, I don't know. It was just a thought. It, I do think well, it, we'll it, it, it probably is relevant to the fact that there's no... Like, the fact that a bunch of a certain kind of drink is missing. I, maybe it's something to do with, like, favorite drink sort of thing. The fact that all the stuff in here... The, the stuff missing is, like, the healthier drinks. Well, it's also the drinks that if you poured them on yourself, it would be really noticeable. Because the color just sweetened, which would be sticky. There's bloodstains on the floor. They're streaked as if she crawled through them. Probably streaked from when Mihiro tried to run away during the attack. So she used all her energy to crawl away and took her last breath as she was leaning against the door. I'm going to make a video game reference. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. Is this really the energetic Mihiru I knew? I energetic? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mihiru. But we don't have time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slap both ha my hands onto my cheeks and face Mihiru's body one more time. My hero is leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned onto the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiro tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl through the door. Evidence can be seen in the bloodstains on the floor. They're streaked as if she crawled through them. So she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door, and took her last breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. Take a double check on what that what that update is. Blood stain on the floor. It streaks leading to the road side doors. If you go okay. So the closet now, right? I can look at I can look at the door. My hero was leaning against this door, so I couldn't open it. I I didn't even try, but. <laughs> Closet doors half open. The last time I came here, that wasn't the case. That's a little suspicious. 
I should probably investigate inside here, too. It's a closet full of anime masks. No, it's... Oh. This is where the wetsuits are! Oh. Yeah, it's... Oh, this kind of clears Sonya, doesn't it? I mean, does it? Yeah, because you can't change in here. So she had to get it from here, go somewhere else, change into it, and wetsuits aren't easy to get in and out of. Is that a Monoguma on the right? Well, it also... Bear... No, no, those look like... Uh, it also, that also, th to be fair, that depends on if there's a camera in here. Because she might have been able to change without being seen. Uh, he's pretty diligent about where he places those. Well, I guess we'll take a look around this room oh. after, but... This is a pretty spacious walk-in closet. There's so much crap on the shelves and floor, only one person could stand in here. But if you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Okay, there is a camera. Oh, there's one camera on the upper left. Huh? Oh, hi. Wait, does that mean we only could have gotten it if we came in here during the investigation? Yeah, I mean, I imagine they were only oh, around geez. for story stuff. Okay, not as much to look at here. Shelves! There's a lot of stuff jammed onto the shelves, even surfboards and a surfboard case. But they're not put away properly at all. Two boards are stuffed onto one shelf, and some boards have been left out instead of being put in the case. There's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. Flotation devices, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies, too. Hmm, there's not much else that could be related to the incident. There's something on the floor. This yellow thing is a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. If it's, uh, if it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? So, do you think that, uh... Hyoka was in there? He, he, yeah, I think Hyoka was in here, like, secret snacking or something. And she saw what happened. Maybe. I think so. That that it could be something like that. I don't think I don't think Yoko's strong enough to hit with that. Yeah, I, I I will say for what it's worth, and I I'm sorry to keep using like meta gaming for this, but I'm pretty sure this is done to make us suspect Hyoko. It's a bit too obvious for that. So I'm pretty sure it it's that like you said, either she was in here or it was planted. This is the only thing that caught my eye inside this closet. I went into this closet and all I got was this shitty candy. So this is the shower room. So notice in the door. Oh, we haven't seen this before, okay. About what well that's impossible too. Shower is out of order. Isn't it just a waste of space? I'm sorry. Just when I was playing to fix it, my magic stick was taken from I never got around to fixing it. What the heck? What does your magic stick have to do with the preparing? Anyways, it's all Monokuma's fault. It's everything is all Monokuma's fault. I can kill him for you if you want me to. How about what? You doubtful eyes are telling me you think I'm a Monokuma. Must have read my mind. I think what do you want me? I want me. But let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand any kind of there. I promise I will help with that. What help? You're doing the opposite. Oh, well, anyways, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. I guess I should check the inside too. So wait, are we checking inside it or not? Yeah, I, have, I had to click on again. Hi, Akane. This is a really nice, really spacious shower room. If it's this huge, you could also use it as a dressing room. But changing into beach house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. What's Akane doing here? Investigating? Showering? 
Uh, I guess I was in here. I was thinking the killer was hiding. Wouldn't be that easy. Wait a minute, where is Nekomar? Wait, why are we looking at a thing up there? There's a toilet. You really can't really use it as a step stool. There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to take my mind off it. However, the ceiling is really high. So that window is also situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet up. So what you're saying is Ak Akane is three feet tall. Four and a half. Not just that, it's an iron barred window. If that's the case. Yep, be impossible to go in and out through there. What? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through there. Ah, right, I got it. I'll pitch you to help you out. Huh? Come on, give me the piggyback ride. I'll check the window for you. Pitching and help? Feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. If you don't hurry up, I'll punch you. She's really into this. Suffer the fist face consequences. No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. Don't worry, my panties are clean. I see, that's good. I let out a <laughs> deep sigh that bent over under the window. Alright! As she shouted, Akane jumped onto my shoulders. Hey, your battle sucks! Make sure your stance is wider! You're a lot heavier than I expected! Yeah, because I'm so buff. Like, every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mess of- Massage, huh? You have a trainer or something to the ultimate gymnast? Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. What? I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> so how's the window? Let's see. Hmm. I see, I see. So that's what happened. Did you find anything? Well, sir, since there's this iron bar, I'm sure no But check it out. Check it out? Hold on, I'll give it a try. With the Kane on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high that I started to worry. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. It looks like it can open and close pretty easily. See? My head can fit through. No problem. Man, it's not impossible to go in and out of that window. Yep, yep. Yeah. Connie jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. Isn't this a big discovery? The problem is, how were they able to reach that window? Hmm, if I, if I jump, I can't really reach But if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? But even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as a step stool would still be inside. But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Huh? Really? Yeah, like... A freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja could climb wall... Th prob what? Hmm, just as I thought. It looks difficult <laughs> to go in and out through that window. What the heck? I even took the time to lend you my wisdom. You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took the time to pitch in and help. It's such a waste of time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. No, I didn't. Oh, well, it's not like it's the end of the world. I'm telling you I didn't look at them. Iron barred window. All right. It's hinged, actually. What do you know? Yeah, this is pretty much everything I noticed in this shower room. Yeah, all right. Now we'll talk to the people out here. All right, left to right. Jesus Christ, there's so much. Well, I guess I'll... Oh, no, if I look at that, it looks good. What is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of clue? 
You know the footprints from earlier? They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Now that you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? At first, I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road. But it didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in from the beach side door. Couldn't go inside from the roadside door. Because Mihiro's body was blocking it, right? And that's when I noticed those footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Now that you mention it, Heko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be... Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the... I do not know anything about this... Is that really true? <laughs> I just had a silly thought. What? Rhino's really getting into the character. <laughs> yeah. No, I had a mouthful of chips. <laughs> but these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my. Of course my. Footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Then whose footprints are these? It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no idea who that might. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a kind of clue, don't you think? <sighs> yes, it's probably an extremely important clue. Guess I've finished investigating all I can. So we can't talk to anyone still else? Still not enough, apparently. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why Mahiro got killed. Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal I wasn't killed. Metal bat. That's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahiru. That there's no way that's just a coincidence, right? It seems so weird though that they would do the same thing as in the game. Team seem is a missing link. A missing link. If that's the killer's motive for the killing this time, then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, the person who might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. In darkness. <clears throat> I should ask her about it. Wobble wobble. Hey Chiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Can I say, I think it's funny you were like, oh, I'm going to talk to people from left and right. You talk to one person, they all pitch in. <laughs> yeah. Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I think I've finished investigating once through. Then let's go. Go? Go where? You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you should actually play it for yourself. So, let's go. Is she gonna drag us over there? Yeah, you're right. With Chiaki leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jabberwock Park where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never... I never expected that person to be waiting there. What person? Fuihiko? That seems to always be who it is when we say that person. Oh! I love how as soon as he starts speaking, it plays the dramatic bad thing music. Well, hello there, Hajime Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nagito? He sounds a little slimy. <laughs> he is. It feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. So I'll kick him. Why are you here? <clears throat> kick him. Well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, Mahiru got killed this time. <clears throat> Jeez, how horrible. 
She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. <clears throat> I don't think she was the heart of our group. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? Hey, That's right, no matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though I do feel bad for a hero, this is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? God, I hate Hi, this. don't mind me. Just come, just, just butting in real quick. Can I stab him in the heart? <laughs> yes, please. Looks like you feel no remorse. Jeez, as usual, he's acting so crazy, he's almost pissing me off. It's me, Crazy Nagito. Come down to my used car lot. <laughs> Here we've got the 1945 Despair Mobile. Price is so low, it's crazy. <laughs> so why are you here? Who told you about Mahiru? You don't have to make that scary face, I'll tell you, you know. Monami. Yes, it was me. Traitor. For some reason, the... And it's probably going to be a while before we hear it again. The opening jingle of the song of the sound that plays when Monami appears, it sounds like it's voices saying, "Hey, look over here." <laughs> you, why'd you untie Nagito without anyone's permission? Did I do bad? Yes. That's when everyone get along and. No That's done better when Nagito's not around. There's no way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. But finding one friends with Nagito, guys. Ajime, you should forgive her. Monami is making a valid point too. You have no right to say that. But now's not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for me here, right? That's right. That's why everyone must work together and have Enough! Enough already! Yeah. Just go away already! And just, uh... Nagito, you too. Hurry up and get lost. Oh, fine. Disappears into the floor. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. Swing sword and hits where he was at. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no reason for me to be here. Oh my god, there's actually a true ending? True ending? So, although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. Oh my god, is it like, is it like I will Undertale? I try to be useful in my own way. Who do you want to be useful to? The killer, or us? Isn't it obvious? I will always be on the side of Ho. You have a funny way of acting that way. Like that. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, this situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it! Ajime, let's just move on and start the game. You're right. Even if I do play this, I might just get a game over again. Before I start, I should ask Chiaki if there's a walkthrough for this game. Ah, okay. Take game facts. Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Hmm? I feel like I'm just gonna repeat the second day and fourth day again and then get a game over. So if there is a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? When you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? Do you want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? You should have seen it too. You know, that thing that was displayed on the game over screen. I don't remember. I remember it was weird and gibberish. Oh! Oh, that. Are you talking about the message that says down five? Deep, 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 deep. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. It means you have to press down five times. Nothing happened. You're not playing the game. But I was in a flashback. Ow! Zelda! 
the hitting. He's like, <laughs> what did Zelda do? Z Zelda was just, just like decided to stretch, and while this while stretching, she decided to put her front paws on the arm of my chair with her nails extended and not care that my arm was there. Oh jeez. Then the hidden command is You just have to press the down button five times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick. Just as expected of the ultimate gamer. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just you either get it or you don't. In fact, Nagito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to check off screen, like, if that's something you could do the first time you play the game. Just by knowing ahead of time. I sincerely doubt it. <laughs> <laughs>